It's not cosplay. It's not a costume. It's from Japan. It's a Japanese fashion. style is a alternative fashion from Japan. It started in about the 1980s as a street fashion and from there it's progressed into a kind of a worldwide phenomenon. ロリータはすごくカテゴリーがいっぱいあって、代表的なものだとスイートロリータ、クラシカルロリータ、ゴシックロリータ、あと、なんだ、ま、いろいろいっぱいあるんですけど、でも まあ、ファッションを楽しんでいればどのカテゴリーに当てはまろうと当てはまらなくても自分のその好きな組み合わせで楽しんでいけばいいなと思ってます。The most common question that you get asked on the street when you're wearing Lolita is um if this is a costume or like what performance or play you're a part of. To me like Lolita is definitely um a lifestyle. So if a person says that it's a costume, they make me feel like I'm uh, living in a pretend world. But I'm living in this world with everybody else, but I just choose to dress this way. But actually, you get a lot of people who are really inspired and, you know, especially old ladies and little kids are my favorite to run into because old ladies just think that you're the most darling thing. And then little kids, just, they think you're a princess. And, you know, it just makes me feel good to be able to make them happy for that one instant. I think it just, it really helps me become the person that I feel like inside. Almost like kind of entering into a fairy tale whenever I wear it. I feel a hundred times more confident and more comfortable. The Lolita has changed me in that way. I don't fear new things as much as I used to. I just see every new day and every new chance that explore and meet new people. Getting into the Lita has really pumped up my confidence again because those past years, like, they were just, just uh, passing by. The main thing that the Lita is trying to accomplish is really to just make the people who wear the fashions feel beautiful and comfortable with who they are. そうですね。あの、日本ロリータ協会今3000人ほど会員数がいるんですけど、もっと1万人とか何万人っていう会員数が増えて、もっとロリータファッションが世界中に浸透して、今まだコスプレとちょっと混同されがちなんですけど、